Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another video on Arsenal discussions with a video for the win against West Brom. 4-0 away from home. Very nice game. And just before I start talking about what I am I want to talk about, I just want to make an apology for not uploading the video yesterday, which was when it was actually supposed to be uploaded. As I had plans yesterday and i didn't have the time to upload it so i will be uploading the video today and yeah so let's just get started talking about how arsenal did against west brom in that for new win away from home so looking at the lineups first let me search it up okay looking at the lineups leno nothing to say Bellerin about that one, I'm just happy or just a knock, not a very serious injury. And I'm sh I, I'm sure he'll be back for the Newcastle game in the FA Cup. Is it FA Cup? Yeah, I think it's the FA Cup. I think he'll be back for that. Holding and Mari very solid at the back uh, in the game against West Brom. Very solid holding and Mari were doing good jobs both on the left and right side of the center part center part. And Kieran Tierney impressive. A lot of chances by his crosses and a lot of um and, and that one goal they scored was very good. And Shaka, Granite Shaka um just like the normal him, like just passing the ball around. Ceballos was about the highest out of average. And Will Smith Rowe, he is our next Arsenal hero. He has been doing very well lately. And Will Smith Rowe, remember the name of Arsenal fans. And even non Arsenal fans. Remember the name, Emil Smith Rowe. One day, very, very soon, maybe one or two seasons later, if you face Arsenal, we are starting at Will Smith Row. You need to watch out. This guy is dangerous. Will Smith Row is getting so good. And now that and now Ateta finally learns that we should play Emil Smith Row instead of what El Nanny and whoever that is. And yeah, Emil Smith Row is way, way, way better. Every game he plays he will get an assist or make some chances, contributions, very good. Bukayo Saka, he is also another dangerous man that Arsenal have and other teams must watch out. He scored a very good goal today, pretty nice. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, uh, in the last video, in the last video who do we face? Was it? Wait, who did you face in the last video? Like, in the last game? I can't even remember. But in the last video, in the last last video, I can't remember because Aubameyang, right? Let's take it as a FIFA rating point of view. He, at the start of the season, 90 rated. Then slowly it drops to 89, 87, 85. For the past four to five games, he has been playing like Akin Fenwa. You know Akin Fenwa? It's just that he doesn't have strength. 75, 74, 70, 69, 68. He doesn't make any contributions. He touches the ball, he passes it. Let others people let other people do the do the um stuff. What he does? He barely touched the ball in the game. Last time when he gets the ball, he will try to spin players, get through the defense and shoot. But now a games, yeah, I'm saying now a games, not nowadays, now a games. What is he doing? Get the ball, pass the ball, get the ball, pass the ball. What is he doing? Sometimes, sometimes, right? It's even get the ball, lose the ball, get the ball, lose the ball, get the ball, get the ball, lose the ball. So basically, he's not, he's not capable of joining this starting level of Arsenal. You know, if I was Ateta, I would have played Lacazette more. Lacazette was brilliant today. Uh, in, I mean, not today, in the goal, uh, in the game. Two goals. One very nice goal. 
one very nice goal which was sort of a volley, his last goal. And the third goal was also pretty impressive. But Aubameyang, if I was Ateta, I would not only play Lacazette up front. You see now Aubameyang is playing on the left, right? I'll play, I'd rather play freaking William there. I'd rather play that old former Chelsea player who thinks that Arsenal is a, is a Chelsea retirement club at the left side where Aubameyang is playing. Aubameyang! I said this in the last video, I remember. I'm talking to Aubameyang right now. That's the door. Tara, get out. You have no right in Arsenal anymore. You go join some MLS or Chinese club. Like nowadays, right, all the games that we won, I'm literally praising everyone, everyone but Aubameyang. I, I, just, I just don't understand why Aubameyang is still in this club. Even Runasan can play better than Aubameyang. Okay, maybe not, but it's just... It's just a way of expressing how bad Aubameyang has been playing. So now let's take a look at the game. Uh, it was a pretty interesting game, at least for us. Not really for West Brom. I mean, West Brom is a newly promoted side. But they used to play in the Premier League. They should know how tough, what is the pressure in the Premier League. So, if... If we win, if we win two 0 three 0 okay, that's a classic Arsenal win. But four 0 we haven't had a four 0 win in a long time, and I didn't expect Leno to keep a clean sheet. I expected West Brom to maybe score one or two. It may have been a four one win, a four two win. So let's see from the very start of the game. Uh. Uh, it it was snowing that day. So it was actually quite hard for the players to get a 4 new win. Very impressive for the whole squad. It was snowing. It was very easy to treat as it was slippery but still. The players, the team still coped through the snow, the cold weather. And just played the game like it was any other normal game. And we're also talking about Aubameyang being bad. Aubameyang, third minute, whips across, Bellerin latches onto a delivery in the right inside channel, fires low towards goal, Johnstone's, John Stones make a good stop with his boot before Saka sees his effort on a rebound, blocked by who's, blocked by who? Oh yeah, blocked by Sawyers, Sawyers, is that how you pronounce him? I don't know. So, Aubameyang, that was literally probably the one or two times he was actually good. Yeah. Um, there was a bit of chances in the first like 20 minutes. Lacazette, oh, wait, was it Lacazette? No, it was Saka. Yeah, Saka's chance on the 10 minute. Uh, I guess it was just straight towards the keeper. And then we had Sabayos, he lifts. Literally when it's cross, you whip the cross, right? But he just lift the cross. Like, there's a difference between whipping a cross and lifting a cross. Like, when you whip a cross, you do it like that. Like, the ball will move this way. Like, like that. But when you cut it, when you lift a cross, it means it's like that. It's basically a chip cross. But, John Stone was there, he just punches it out. But we had a very good start. Saka's chance, wait. Yeah, Aubameyang, not good on the 60 minute. And then the 21st minute, the first chance for West Brom. Who do they think they are? They think they are facing hashtag United. We are Arsenal, we have but Leno. The future of Arsenal Football Club in the back line, like the very, very back line, like goalkeeping. The future of Germany. They shoot it straight towards Leno. You think Leno will just shoot and then just let you nutmeg him? 
Oh, just stop the ball. Now is the fun part. The Kirin Tien Eagle. I love it. A very nice stunner. It was brilliant. I mean, Kirin Tien barely scores this type of goal, so let's see if it, well, it was Lacazette or Staka who scored this goal. Okay, maybe fine. I'll just say, wow, brilliant. But then, huh? It's Kirin Tien Kieran Tierney out of all players, even even if Granite Shaka scored it, or maybe Sabayo scored it, I'll be yeah, pretty good. But Kieran Tierney though, it was very good, like Rob holding from about the other half of the box, just like over the top to Tierney. Usually, what Tierney does, he just passes it forward to Lacazette or Smith Rowe. But this time, what did he do? Brilliant! He just ran, ran, ran past that defender. I don't even know who that is. West Brom can go mind their own business. Past that defender, cut in into the box. Just uses his, uses his right foot, finishes it. Perfect. One nil up on twenty third minute, and we are and we are leading. Very good start. Not even thirty minutes in, and Danny has already scored a stunner. So yeah, and then Pablo Mari, there was one part he should have done better against Matt Phillips. Matt Phillips nearly scored a goal there, but we have Leno. Uh, and then Bukayo Saka, not not Granite Shaka, Bukayo Saka. That was a very good goal. I can't really remember who, but I think it was Sabayos. He passes it to Saka. Saka short pass to Lacazette. He passes back to Saka. Saka, f uh, kind of like a side pass to Emil Smith Rowe. Good vision there. Smith Rowe saw Saka was open right in front of the keeper. He passes it in. Easy job for Saka. Just need to tap it in. Go. We're two nil up in less than thirty minutes. The twenty eighth minute. We are ready two nil up. Very good. Arsenal literally just cut open the baggies with ease. Some of you, if you don't know what does baggies mean, it basically it, it baggies is the nickname of West Brom. Very good. Very impressed. Yeah, and then Smith Rowe carves apart West Brom. Like, Smith Rowe, right? That man... Or maybe I just call him boy or lad. That lad can just break through any team's defense. Okay, maybe not Man City, maybe not Spurs, maybe not Liverpool, but most of the team's defense, he can just cut apart it, make some passes around to the attackers for them to score. But it was saved by John Stone in the end. That chance. And Ajayi, the corner for West Brom. Ajayi, um, wait, wait, it wasn't a corner, was it? Wait, I think it was a corner, yeah. Ajayi corners and try to, like, send the header towards the right post. But, what happened? The goal is here. The ball went there. That is why I call a white shot, because he is too white. Maybe you don't understand that. Uh, Bellerin's yellow card not deserved, man. Not deserved. Who is the referee? Wait, let me check who is the referee. Hold on, yeah. Let me check who the referee was. The referee was... Hold on, yeah. So while I'm checking, I'm just gonna keep talking. It's a clear that challenge you made on Tele... Galaka? I don't know how to pronounce that person's name. It's a clear the challenge you made, right? I don't think it should have been a... I don't think... I, I just don't think you should deserve a... 
I don't think you deserve the yellow card. Maybe a warning, a harsh warning would be okay. But yellow card, I don't think that's that's like deserved. Okay, I can't really find who who the referee was, but it was a yellow card. I don't think it was deserved. And then Lacazette's last minute chance, like just before half time, was safe. But I'm not complaining. Half time, we are two nil up. Two nil. That's better. This style results is way better. What those stupid results was that against Wolf? We lose to Wolf. We lose to whoever. We lose to Burnley. But this is the type of result that we need. This is the arsenal that we want. When I say we, we mean the fans. I mean, of course, me. And then second half, um, let's probably make some changes. I don't care about it. And Lacazette, yay! He scored a goal. So let me see who scored. Let me see how he scored the goal. Um, ah, yeah, this goal. This goal was fun. This goal is very fun. Very fun. So basically, Saka came from the right side. He whips across in, and then I think, if I'm not wrong, it cheated the defender from a header. But I can't remember where the header was from. I think it was Ajayi. Yeah, Ajayi got the the ball, the defender from West Brom. It was almost an own goal from him. Yes, it was almost an own goal. He literally right. Just smashed it into the post. It was almost a own goal. It hit the post, but it deflected to Emil Smith Rowe again. Smith Rowe, Smith Rowe just hammers it. It it uh it rebounds. It, it bounces off a guy. Then Lacazette on the rebound. Pow. 3-0, 60th minute. It's called the hour mark. One hour in my 3-0 up. Very good. And literally just minutes after. Just minutes after that third goal. 64th minute. Another goal for Lacazette. That's what I'm saying. Lacazette is getting very, very good. He is getting better than a lot of other people. And that's what I like about him. So... Lacazette was a very good goal actually, and I was talking about Danny being very good as well. Danny, he whipped the cross in. Lacazette, easy drop, types it in. Four nil, easy, drop done. We have won the game. And yeah, that, that was the four four goals, and then uh we had some substitutions. Oh yeah, got one thing. I'm, the, I'm not sure if you guys remember, right before Lacazette's goal, like Lacazette's third goal, like on the 54th minute, Bellerin was taken off because of the injury he had. That was what I was talking about, because of him getting a knock. And yeah, but they also had another goal, Pereira. But it was, what's Brom actually sure one forward? Yeah, they sure one forward. But they had a disallowed goal. Lucky. And now let's talk about William coming in for Saka. Why William? I know you won the game. But try to get more goal defense lah, come on please. 5 nil better, 6 nil better, why William? Bring on Pepe lah. We spend like 70 million on Pepe and then you bring in William in and we only spend like 3 on William. He from Chelsea, you know. I was some sort of rival. You go play William Duan, play Pepe. This is a Pepe. I don't know what you're doing. Smith roll on for Willock. Understand? Understand that? Because we need to give the youngsters a few chances and a few days of rest. And um, after that, it was pretty... Yeah, after that, it was pretty... Boring, nothing. But William did make a chance, but it was saved. 
and then that was the end of the game very good result this is this is what this is exactly what arsenal needed okay so basically today the video has gone over the limit i was thinking about making a 15 video a 15 minute video so it's gone over the limit it's about 20 minutes now so i'm sorry for holding up your time and yeah thanks for watching so all the way to the end and thank you i see you in the next video for the newcastle arsenal discussions video Bye.